Hey guys, how are you? I'm sure you guys are doing great. So guys, today in this video, we'll be discussing about the firewall, uh, how firewall works and uh, how you should being a network engineer, how you should configure the firewall. What are the conditions you should uh, configure? What are the conditions you should not configure? So entire thing will be discussing in this video in depth. So watch this video till end, guys. My name is Manjit Singh and you are watching your own channel, Tag Guru Manjit. So let us start with the uh, type of firewalls, right? So how many type of firewalls are available? So there are two type of firewalls available. One is software, one is hardware. So what is software and what is hardware and where software is installed and where the hardware is installed. So uh, software firewall, let's uh, talk about the first software firewall. Say for example, you have single PC, right? Uh, at your home, you have single PC, which you are using, right? So in your PC, by default, software firewall is available, whether it is your Windows operating system, uh, 7, 8, 10 or server, whatever it is. So by default, the with the operating system, some of the features of firewall is pre-installed in your PC so that you can secure your computer from you know attacks and some other activities so but it is always recommended to use anti license antivirus uh, when you are using single pc of course you will not buy hardware firewall because hardware firewalls are the uh, firewalls which are used in the uh, big networks when you have some local area network and uh, you have some uh, 20 to 30 50 or maybe uh, n number of computers in your local area network to protect that particular local area you need hardware firewall which is of course it is a single device with uh, through which you can you know secure your entire uh, local area network uh, devices so that's the reason we use a uh, hardware uh, uh, firewalls in the local area network, which is of course network. But uh, when the condition is there, then you have a single uh, PC. So of course you are not you going to use the hardware firewall. Of course, if you have money, you can use that. But uh, ultimately, uh, nobody use that hardware firewall for just particular one PC. So that's the reason it is uh, recommended to use antivirus as well as you can enable the software firewall. Uh, when I talk about the software firewall, which is available in our computers, uh, the features, if I talk about the features, the feature which are available in the hardware firewall is not available in the software firewall because it is a pre-installed kind of uh, uh, software uh, firewall system in the PC. So uh, the predefined some predefined rules are available so uh, which means you can just enable that to protect your computer from some attacks now let's talk about the uh, hardware firewall right as i said hardware firewall can protect your local area network so here is a firewall there is a firewall this is the van or you can say uh, internet of course, the internet uh, is known as an unsecure network, right? Because uh, there are so many hackers, there are so many servers, there are so many networks going on, but nobody is protecting this particular internet, right? So that's the reason the WAN, which is wide area network, of course, it is known as internet, is uh, not uh, called as an unsecure network. So this is your local area network, which is private. You can say private network and you have some systems. Say, for example, you have switch number one, switch number two, and here is your firewall, right? So why we installed firewall between private network and the public network? So uh, first of all, the first reason I would say, because as I said, the internet is known as unsecure network. If we not use this firewall here, what will happen is every hacker which is available in the network, they are unauthorized user to access your local area network. But as you have not used the firewall here, so what they are trying to do is they will try to access your computers and they will steal your 
personal data and after that they can you know sell it to someone else to earn money or there are many ways to many ways they are earning so that's the reason they keep on you know hacking uh, now you have used your firewall here so this firewall is located between local area network and the wide area network right so here is a wide area network connected to your firewall here is your local area network connected to your firewall now if any of your local area network user send request to some say for example xyz computer yeah maybe server so your request will reach to xyz now xyz.com will definitely reply to your uh, request right the moment that request is reaching to your local area network what hackers do is they get access to this particular request with the help of that they reach to your local area network right now because you have used the firewall what firewall do is it will check the information header information the uh, of every packet and if your conditions are to deny the uh, that particular uh, head information it will drop the uh, it will not allow that packet to travel into your local area network and if you have given that permission okay if uh, the say for example why condition is there then you can uh, transfer that local uh, that packet into your local area network right so now the location of firewall is always between local area network to wide area network you cannot put this firewall say for example it is a local area network you cannot put your firewall here reason being the data is uh, the data which is coming from the wide area network i mean say internet is directly terminating to your switch so which means now the firewall location is here so firewall will not be able to block that particular uh, data uh, particular packets or it will not be able to inspect that particular uh, packets whether it is to allow in your network or it is not to be so that's the reason the right uh, location of your uh, placing the firewall is when where local area network is connecting to wide area network right now let us understand the conditions so what are the conditions you can uh, you know in, um, configure in the firewall so first is ip address right say for example uh, you have given some condition that 192.168.10.1 if packet coming with this information the header information is containing this uh, ip address then if you have given that if ip address is this then allow so it will allow if you say block it will block right so you can uh, filter the uh, traffic based on the ip address second you can uh, filter the uh, packets or your data uh, with the protocol right protocol means tcp i icmp etc etc so these are the protocols based on the protocol you uh, you can also you know filter the data uh, the data and uh, after that third uh, condition is you can uh, filter the traffic based on the service type which means you can uh, say for example port number i would say so port number 80 if you are saying that uh, the port num the data packet which is containing the port number 80 should be blocked so it will block the entire packet which are carrying the uh, the header information is carrying the port number 80 then fourth is uh, you can uh, filter the data traffic based on the mac address or uh, mac address is generally used when your local area network uh, users are sending some data to uh, wide area network and you don't want that particular computer to you know access the internet in that case you uh, you can block the mac address because this pc uh, you know the uh, mac address of this pc so you can block that so it will not be able to send any data from local area network to wide area network 
Now it is very important being a network engineer uh, to uh, configure right way. The, if you are configuring the firewall, the condition should be in a right way. If you are not putting the condition in a right way, whether it is whether you have configured the uh, conditions, it will not work. Let's let's take an example. Here I have some uh, I have made some conditions. Here is a rule number. Here is a source IP address. Here is the source port number, destination IP address, and the destination port number. And finally, is action means conditions which we have given to particular that uh, rule. So say for example, the first rule says. 176.10.10.1 source up uh, source port number any destination port number uh, destination ip address any destination port number any and the condition says block right so this is the right condition because you said the if some packet is carrying the in uh, ip address this it should be blocked right so second condition says that the SM means social media because you can do content filtering basis, right? You can do content filtering in the firewall system. So you can say, say for example, social media, any of the uh, uh, packet is carrying social media information, source port any, destination any and destination port any, the condition is block and you can put here the conditions based on the timing as well. Say for example, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. If your company is saying that uh, uh, when the shift starts, I don't want that my, my employees to access these social media platforms. But after 2 p.m., they can access the social media. So based on that, con uh, you can con uh, you, you can configure the uh, condition. Now, after that is one condition is uh, very important in any of the firewall to configure. Say, for example, you have given some block conditions. After that, it is very important to, you know, allow some allow the traffic because if you not allow the traffic by default, it will block. Let's take an example. Say, for example, uh, this is your company, right? There is a gate from where anyone can enter to your company. This is the company name is say for example ABC. So this ABC company has appointed some security agency and one security guard is standing out here. Right. One security guard is standing out here and this security guard is you know have uh, briefed that uh, maybe you can say you have uh, this company has given some list to this particular security guard the name which are there in the list are the people who can enter to this company if the name is not there in the list to that person will not be allowed to enter into company right so what the security guard will do of course when some person will uh, you know uh, try to enter the it will he will block it will check the uh, list which is provided by the company. So if the name exists, it will say, OK, no problem. You can go inside. If the name is not there in the list, it what he will do, sir, I'm sorry, you are not allowed to enter into uh, the, the company, right? Same way, if you are given the condition that block, 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 right? Now, uh, uh, what I'm trying to say here is if the name is not there, so what if it, this uh, security guard will do, it will not allow anyone, uh, even the 10 person are, you know, uh, uh, trying to access the uh, enter into company or maybe the hundreds, but the name is not there. It will not allow any of the person to enter to the company. Same way our firewall works is. So if you have given the block conditions only, so it will just check. It will just check the list. If the condition found, it will take action. If the condition not found, it will automatically block the entire traffic, which is not, you know, uh, matching to your uh, list. So you what you have to do is you have to give one allow condition, permit condition, source IP, any source port number, any destination port number, IP, any destination port number, any 
and the action is allowed which means if first condition does not match it will check for the condition number two if condition number two is not matching then it will reach to condition number three which says allow so what this firewall do is it will allow the traffic particular into your local area network now after some time because you have configured till now only three conditions now after some time you uh, you thought to uh, you know uh, configure some more uh, uh, conditions out here in the firewall so here is the condition number four which you have entered so you have placed this condition at fourth position so ip address is this source ip uh, source port number any destination any so destination port number any and the condition is block now it is very much important to understand where you have configured the condition you have as being a network engineer you have configured your condition and you are thinking that okay i have configured it into the firewall so it will work but the reality is because what how firewall works is top to bottom they always work bottom right so work from top to bottom which means they will uh, if any of the traffic is reaching to firewall it will check first condition matching or not not okay check further matching no check further now because you have given the condition allow which means permit you have given the condition that uh, any of the device any of the uh, your traffic right they will definitely match here because you have given any 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 which means now any of the traffic apart from the above conditions so definitely if the above conditions are not matching definitely there are that condition is matching on the condition number rule number third now because conditions are matching on rule number third now firewall will not check the condition number four because the already it is you know uh, got the confirmation here to allow or the block because because here pe, uh, because here uh, we have allowed so every condition is matching on rule number three the rule number fourth will not be you know checked by the firewall so it is important to understand the configuration if you are trying to you know use this condition then in that case you need to shift this third condition after uh, the fourth condition so which means the fourth uh, your new condition will be on third and the permit statement always be at the end right at the end of any firewall so uh, this is the uh, reason and this is how firewall works in our local area network so this is how we should configure these are the condition which should always be you know uh, taken care to uh, uh, ultimately uh, if you are want to you know effectively uh, protect your local area network then your condition should be according to the top to bottom so permit statement always be at the end then only your above conditions will be you know uh, securing your uh, local area network or maybe the you know uh, whatever the traffic going into wide area to private and private to wide area network so guys i hope uh, you guys understand how firewall works and uh, what are the conditions how you can get benefit out of it so if you like this video please hit the like and uh, do share with your friend circle only to only to those people which are you know into it field so this is the humble request to you guys so see you in the next video oh, okay before ending the video if you have not subscribed my channel please hit the subscribe button to like uh, subscribe and uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon so whenever i'll be uploading the new video notification will reach to you so let's meet in the new video till then stay safe goodbye